on today's episodes of Cribs. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Welcome. He's got his Tacosaurus on today. Because we are Tacosauruses. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Or welcome to the RV and the vlog. We sort of filmed this vlog a little backwards because we've been getting footage and getting settled. Yep. I realized the camera was pointing. I thought you were pointing. It's, <laughs> it's just okay. Outside. Okay. Um, we did buy an RV. I know. I know. We said we were going to wait. We couldn't wait. As I talked to you about in the last vlog, we did the math. We compared renting versus buying. How many times we were going to use the RV. We just did the numbers. You know, we worked the math. And it made more sense to buy. So, we decided to buy. Now, yes, we bought at the worst time, in our opinion, to buy an RV. And we didn't buy used, which we said we were going to do, or preferred to do. We looked at the used inventory, we weighed the pros and cons of used versus new. Basically what it all boiled down to is we found the RV for us, we found the exact floor plan we wanted, the colors, the style, the everything we wanted in this particular model, so we went with new. We decided that it didn't matter if we went used or new. What mattered the most was the layout, the integrity of the, of the RV, that kind of thing. We did purchase the Forest River Vibe 28 RL. That is what we are in. Um, if you're interested in pricing and stuff like that, I feel like that's a little personal. But if you're interested, you can go to any RV dealership in the state of Texas and you can see basically what we paid for this RV. So good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin footage. I know this vlog's a little out of order. I'm sorry. It's just the way we had to film it. Oh, I scared him away. Oh. Did you see them? I'm sorry, little guys. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. Something hit me. We're gonna walk the park here soon, and um, we're thinking of starting a series on just the different RV parks we stay in. Um, you know, just little review, mini reviews on them. I know a lot of channels are doing that, um, but I gotta tell you, I mean, I really wanted to see something, a sea video. Look at all the turtle heads. Do you see them? When we were planning on where to stay, so. Of course, you have the campsites that actually post videos, but you know, you want it from somebody who's staying there, not somebody trying to get you to stay there. <laughs> so, anyway, we just had some lunch and uh, so pretty. Okay, well, Turtle Watch, 12.51 p.m. There they're coming up for the sun and for the water so I'm gonna leave them alone so they can come get their sunspots on the logs okay so um yeah this has been amazing I'm so glad we bought the camper uh, we thought you have to understand we we compared so many model campers and we thought this one had a quick connect for the for the grill it does not so we're gonna show you the grill and we're gonna probably hook up to 
our tank up here in the front. So we'll see. I will, uh, you'll see, because we'll let you know. So anyway, but I'm excited to cook on the uh, Outdoor Girl tonight, on the Blackstone tonight, and um, get that going. And uh, whew, when we get her home, she needs a bath. It's very muddy because where we store her, let's see, Rocco, the truck is even dirtier. Oh my goodness, he's filthy. So, and everything hooked up over here. So, oh, it's been, it's been wonderful. We only got to be here this weekend. So, but we have a week in October, not here, but a week in October. So watch that for that coming up. Let you see the messy kitchen. I'm gonna clean up here in just a second. Hi, honey. Hi, how are you? Say hi to the vlog. Hi, how are you? So, we just had lunch, so you can tell that, you know, and that's defrosting for dinner tonight. But uh, we're gonna clean up and uh, turn off the lights here in the oven. First time we turned the oven on, so there was a little bit of a stinky smell, you know, why this stuff burns off in there. But otherwise, it worked really well. And uh, this vented out nicely. Microwave is great, cooks quick. Microwave cooks quick. So, and we have our pillows and chairs, but I gotta tell you, I really, there are turtles are back. There they are. I really, really like this big window back here. This is awesome. So, especially with a view like this. Oh, our little turtles swimming around in the water out there, just below the surface. This is a catch and release little pond. They call it a lake, I call it a pond. <laughs> You'll see, we're gonna walk around the park later on today, like I said, and we'll see more of the park. There's another little pond on the other side too. I mean, just look at my view right there while I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee. So we're gonna motivate here in just a few minutes. Those totes right there are for our underbelly for the basement of the RV. And um, we're going to organize our storage bin. And of course, I will show that to you. It's going to turn on the gas. Okay. We're off. Let's light it. Yeah, I can see it. There we go. All right, let's light this side because we need to season it. Ha! Huh. Oh, nice. All right, so we're going to get it nice and hot and then we're going to season it. We're not going to eat right now, but uh, we're going to let it season up a couple times burn off the oils and stuff that are on here. And uh, we're gonna cook some steaks later on tonight. Nice. You, oh, it only goes on that side. Oh, you can flip the table any direction you want. So if you'd rather have that on the other side, just flip the table around. The grill sits on little feet here on the table. You guys, this was a great deal. Uh, normally the table is $88 and the grill is $160. Together they were $179. So I will leave it linked for you. Um, I think this would be great at home too. I don't think you have to just be on the road to need this. So, and uh, it folds up, the bottom folds up, the grill folds, you know, folds flat and it will fit right in here.
another reason why we'd like the quick connect is so that we can cook right out here <laughs> cook undercover okay let me get this taken care of hang on It just works like your cast iron pan. You pour the oil on, you rub the grease in, and you let it sort of bake on there to give yourself a non-stick surface and to help prevent rust. There you go, that's about it. Looking good, looking good. All right, I think we're pretty good here. I don't think I need to do any more. I'm gonna turn it off, let it completely cool down, and uh, be ready for dinner site does have grills but um, I don't know if gluten's been on those and I don't have firewood so or charcoal. or charcoal oh hello Paul I scared him away When it cools down, we're gonna go take a little tour around the campground, but right now it's a little warm unless you're in the shade. In the shade, it feels fantastic. Um, I do, of course, have my weather station. Um, now, don't mind the trash. We're gonna take this to the dumpster, which is right there, but we have it all underneath here so it doesn't blow away. So that's what you see, all of our new stuff. So, but I have this, this is the Go-V. Um, you can see the temperature there, and um, I think that's relative humidity. So now let me take you inside and show you my weather station. Really, you didn't think I had a weather station? It's me. <laughs> you know, I'm obsessed with the weather. <laughs> oh, it's so nice and cool in here. Yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> we are at 79 in the camper. So it doesn't feel that warm. So, okay. So here we are. What you hear is our air conditioner in here. All right. So there's my little weather station. Isn't that cool? So we have the indoor on the very bottom. So yeah, it's 72 in here with 37% humidity. And uh, the middle is outside. So 85 on, on the upswing, 46% humidity, which is fabulous. We had a little fall front come through. And uh, the forecast for the next 12 hours is it's just pretty much gonna stay the same. The time and the moon phase and the date. I really like this. Um, I really like this. Now for now, it's gonna stay here in the bedroom, but eventually it will go out in the living room of the camper, but I'm using this as a night clock in the evening because um, I have trouble <laughs> seeing at night, so this is big enough for me to be able to see while I'm sleeping. And uh, I have to figure out some cable management here. Um, it's the directions for the weather center. Um, some cable management here because this this isn't going to work for me, but um, this is normally what I take cruising, but this time I brought it with me in the RV, so I need to buy another set to set up in the RV, and again, it'll be a permanent setup, so I just, I need to, I just need to figure it out, and then I got this in the, I think it was FabFitFun, I think, maybe it was something else, um, sleep spray, so, and that was the sheet that came on the RV bedding. I just have it here for now. Uh, we're gonna be putting our spare bedding under the bed. And then of course our pantry, full of junk food. I'm telling you, I'm eating my feelings right now because I'm sad about my dog. So um, I bought some gluten-free bread from Aldi. This is just your, you know, your typical storage stuff you might need. Olive oil, coconut oil, gluten-free macaroni and cheese for dinner tonight, chips, for sandwiches, chips for salsa or dip if we were gonna have some, which we didn't. And candy, because I needed candy. And uh, I already had my donuts. And uh, 
There you go. And this is the lunch box. This came from FabFitFun. It's just an insulated lunch box I thought was nice in case you wanted to do a picnic or something. It's small and it fits in the camper. So there you go. Oops. And these are the steaks coming up to room temperature. They're still quite chilly. And then I will stick them in a little bit of marinade for dinner tonight. Uh, as I've told you guys before, I always cook my steaks at room temperature. Just makes a juicier steak. How you like your camper, babe? Love my camper. Love your camper. So what are we gonna name her? We gotta come up with a name. I'll have to figure something out. Yeah. Yeah, anybody have suggestions? We gotta figure out her personality. Yes. Is she temperamental? But she is definitely a she. It is definitely, yeah, definitely a she. So just have to figure out if she's temperamental, if she's easygoing, if she likes to make things easy, or if she makes things difficult, you know, like, set up and take down is it a struggle is it cumbersome is it frustrating or is it just easy hopefully it's easy hopefully it's easy <laughs> otherwise if it's difficult we're just going to name her the b word biatch <laughs> but not that one the real word <laughs> just kidding anyway okay so um there you go I need to do a full tour of the RV and uh, I will I'll do that here in just a second. And But I wanted to show you my kitchen since we cook together a lot. So there you go. I love this camper. I love it. Yep. We looked a long time for this one. Okay, it wasn't that long. But we looked at a ton of different mm -hmm. floor plans. We did. We must have looked at 100, 150 different campers going in and out of them, looking online, watching videos, learning about brands, learning about designs. And then we ultimately confused two campers on the quick connect underneath. I did that, that was my department because I cook, so that was my department. Whatever, sorry, honey. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I always get questions about my pillows. These came from Ikea, they're from Ikea. If I can link them, I will, but they're like three years old. I've had them for a few years, so. I don't know. And then there's my office corner over there. That bag came from FabFitFun. I used it to kind of bring all my electronics with me. Um, I won't need to do that next time, but I am going to leave that bag in the camper uh, as just like a trap, like a bag if I need it during the day, if I need to bring stuff with me. That's a great bag because it's, it's uh, not canvas. What's that? Nylon. It's a nylon bag. So it's a great bag to have in the camper. So, um, yeah, I didn't take the plastic off the handle, so I was busy. <laughs> anyway, but once I get set up in here and I have all my regular charging equipment with me that I normally take when we cruise and stuff like that, um, then I won't have to pack it every single time. I'll just have to bring the camera and the batteries and the memory cards, and then everything else will already be in the camper. So that's just very convenient if I can do that. So anyway, all right, I'll see you in a minute. I'll probably take a walk around the campground. It needs to cool off first. It's okay, it's only 85, but in the sun, it's like 190.
outside, the breeze, the sun has gone down. It is 86, but it's low humidity and breezy. It feels amazing. All right, uh, the best, not the best, but one of the nice parts about the Blackstone is this back here. You see, you have a little, you have a little spout right there. You can push the oil and stuff down in this. Uh, you can purchase more of these, but I think we're just gonna squish some foil or something down in there. So I don't have to keep buying those things. So this worked out really well, honey. Mm -hmm. So I don't, other than maybe getting a longer hose, I don't really think we need to do a quick connect. I mean, I don't even know that you could add it to the RV, but you know, so I think this works just fine. But I would like, like I said, I'd like to get this around the side. So uh, yeah. Hose. Yeah. So. I don't really like cooking right here next to the tanks, even though I mean, that's what you do at home with your barbecue pits, so barbecue grills. I need to hit my little thermometer gun thing so I can really feel this isn't hot enough, so. All right. Well, I wasn't recording, I thought I was. Okay, I don't even know if I got inside talking about the inside, so I'll have to go re-record that. But these are the butcher box steaks. They're the flat iron cut, one of our favorites. So Rob just said it smells really good. And then here's the evening in the park. Kids playing over there. Those are the little cottages you can rent. So whoops, we left this open. So let's close this real quick and lock it. All right, let me go check on the water. Let's see if the water has come to a boil yet. Okay. Almost. So what I was saying is I marinated the steaks in here. So what I did was wiped out the oil and put it in the trash because I'm trying to put as little, if not just as little oil down the drain as possible into our gray tank so and then tots are in there oh that pan is flexing we may have to invest in a little bit nicer of a pan than the dollar store pan <laughs> it may be so. so yeah that looks good enough so we're gonna have some all the gluten-free macaroni and cheese i know this none of this is keto i told you this weekend i'm eating my feelings and that's just kind of what's going to happen. Monday is a new day, a new week. And I'm going to get back to my grain-free life that I'm supposed to be living. So, here we go. All right, here's dinner. How is it, honey? Very good. Very good. Not a vegetable in sight, but that's all right. Tonight, we dine lakeside in the camp. Eat my dinner.
Yeah, before we have to pack up. It's Lake Conroe right there. There's the Margaritaville. I pardon the blinding sun. <laughs> it's that time of day. All right, so we're gonna walk over here, just right over here. And uh, see if we can get inside the resort. I'm sure we can. Hello, bird. Are you a duck? You're not a duck. Wait, I want to see him. He is a duck. Are you a duck? Hi. Hi. You want to let me pet you? Hi, buddy. Look at you. You're so handsome. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hello. I know you're, you're like, if you don't have food, leave me alone. I don't have food, baby. boat is out there. Yeah. A couple of them. That's too much work. <laughs> I think they're pelicans, but yeah. Oh, are they pelicans? I think so. Is that what you... Because I've got the big mouth. Oh, the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower beak. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we know our marine wildlife. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, itchy face. So there you go, just a little peek at Margaritaville. We're gonna drive through a subdivision real quick and uh, head back to the camper. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll probably see you at the camper unless we see something super neat that you need to see too. <laughs> There's one right. Oh, there's so many. The antlers on them. chicken. Mm. Now you see why we don't have land. Because if we had land, we would have all of those. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Pig, cows. Back in the camper, I've had my shower. <laughs> Rob's relaxing. He's going to go take a shower here in just a minute once the hot water recovers. <laughs> I've got the tea kettle on the stove. Um, I've put away most of the dishes. There was a couple that still needed to dry for a minute, but I'm going to have a cup of tea. I think tonight I'm going to have, well, the only one I brought with me, which is the Tulsi turmeric rooibos. I love this. 
I love this. It makes me nice and relaxed. It helps me sleep. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And then uh, we're watching the proposal. Nice cable here. It was nice. Let's see. Can you see anything? Oh, probably not. They have a little fire over there in that one. Maybe they're cooking dinner. Can't really put you at an angle because then you just get a reflection so of the uh, inside of the camper. So anyway, so we're going to sit down and relax and have a nice evening. So we will see you in the morning. It will, you have already seen it, but you'll know now that that is where I'm starting the vlog is in the morning because I keep forgetting to film that. <laughs> so I'll do that in the morning. <laughs> Bye.